Hey guys, Kev here, and going to do a disassembly on the Satori uh, CKF Custom Knife Factory Satori here. Uh, this is a loaner from uh, Stud Fishing, Ryan. Uh, he's a cool dude. And uh, he basically has a super sweet collection. Um, and he's like apparently a teenager or something. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to Ryan. That's just awesome. And I figured I'd just, uh, take it apart, see what we got inside. Uh, I did the snafu, uh, 2.0 last week or so, and that was a bit interesting. Um, it did not go together as easily as I had hoped from watching a, um, a disassembly of the smaller version of this on, uh, Nick Shabazz's channel. So I want to see if this does have that kind of cage system to put it back together. Um, plus, it has a bit of detent lash, and I was hoping maybe we could get rid of that. I did notice this um, hardened insert slash detent ball piece was loose. Uh, that happened on the snafu. That's what fixed the detent on that snafu. And this detent is much better now that I did it on this one. So interesting that that seems to be a theme with um, the ckf um, integrals so i get my tools here i'm guessing i won't need a t6 but um i have a t8 here this is coming right out which is nice looks like it has some uh loctite on it or no that's just the pivot look at that boom it's the only thing holding this knife together basically look at that pivot just plopped right out i don't even know if i want to do that oh i kind of have to right because of the way this is built oh yeah crap it's an integral guy so i just took it apart i guess yeah that was weird probably should have opened it first huh what do you think how are you supposed to okay let's try putting this back in <laughs> let's try that okay open it first <laughs> i've never been accused of being a genius guys now it's coming out again oh this is gonna be an adventure isn't it <clears throat> yay for me okay now it's out boom that was weird right did you hear that kind of like popped out so it doesn't have that system and i thought it had washers on the inside didn't the other one have that that must have been something they did with the 2.0 <laughs> um i saw nick shabazz's disassembly and there was like this washer cage at least that's how i remember it around the bearings and that was what went in and then because this can't is this just rubbing on titanium that's how it let me get a flashlight so we can see in there. Yeah, it looks like it's just going right onto uh, titanium there. See that? Interesting. Hmm. Never would have guessed that. Well, that was easy. So we got it apart. <laughs> We could really just uh, kind of shimmy it down, put a little bit of KPL in there, and we're good to go. Um, I mean, I guess I'll call this a first impressions while I'm at it, but, you know, there's not much to be uh, impressed about. Um, I had the 2.0, and I really like the knife. I just uh, I don't like their detents on these uh, integrals, and that's pretty much the bottom line. Uh, a knife can be awesome, but if the detent is crap, where the action is crap, I'm out. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel about these. So, um, that was a very easy cleanup. There's almost no oil in there or anything. So, the only issue we're going to have is getting her back in, right? So, we'll get a little KPL. Going to use heavy on this one uh, just because it's a heavier blade, obviously. Drop, drop. Spin it around a little. Let it fall out. That's all part of my game plan here, guys. See this mark right here? I don't know what that is. 
but we got it off, so we're good. Put a little KPL in there, try it again. See if we can't get them to stick, right? And then put a little drop here. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It wants to stay on there. Uh, and then we have that, right? And then we just kind of... Slide it in, right? This could be the world's easiest disassembly. Oh, God, I just said that out loud. But they're in, like, pockets, right? Look at that. Are you kidding me? Is this done already? No way. He spoke too soon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that, guys. Boom. Holy cow. Uh-oh. Okay, just look, Kev. It's right there. <laughs> My heart was pounding. I was like, oh, shit, I lost this pivot screw, and I'm fucked. That's usually how I think. So, Yeah, the key there, guys, was um, that you sometimes, a lot of times, you have to disengage the lock to... Um, to get it to seat properly. Like you might have everything lined up, but it just doesn't want to go the rest of the way because you have the lock engaged somehow. Um, it's a weird, it's just weird how it works, but I'll close it here. You can see we're pretty much dead centered, but we still have a lot of uh, play here in the pivot. So I'm going to tighten that down. So we are tight. That guys, that was the world's quickest disassembly reassembly i've ever done um we're seven minutes in and i talked probably for five minutes before we started so let's check it out oh look at that detent baby um break the detent break the detent Boop. guys holy cow this thing has a detent now Okay, I spoke too soon. But this D10 is much better than it was before, or the, like the one on my Satori was. How's the D10 lash? It's still there. So obviously that's not something you're gonna fix. Um, and then just to double check, we can get in here. See, this was loose. And uh, when this is loose, you have no D10, see? There's no pressure pushing that D10 ball in. But then as soon as I go ahead and tighten this down, now you have a detent. Pretty cool. Also kind of scary that that is the case on these. Um, I would implore you, if you have a Satori, a Satori 2.0, a Snafu, Snafu 2.0, whatever, one of these integral um, custom knife factory knives, check that screw and make sure it's tight. Get a T6 and check that because it makes a world of difference just half a turn of that screw it goes from almost no detent to a solid detent wouldn't be a video if i didn't basically drop a knife from half an inch off the table <laughs> um, but yeah guys that's the satori here it's just a big old ogre of a knife i mean you can see how much sticks out of my large glove size hand um I did really like the size of the 2.0. Um, for reference here, I have a uh, Benchmade Bug Out. And then I have a Spyderco Pair 3. So if I line them up at the pivots, you can see this is a uh, much bigger knife. So that's kind of what you're working with there. Uh, just to show it off because I love it so much, uh, I'll compare it to my CKF Evo 2.0. So you can see the 2.0 Evo is not a very huge knife. I mean, it's really not. It's, it's a relatively normal size knife. It fits in my hand extremely well. It's not like a glove, like some people say. Um... 
but it does fit my hand very well. Um, this has absolutely become my favorite knife overnight. <laughs> um, it's just incredible. Here's the bug out compared to those two, just for reference and for myself, basically. So it's not that much bigger than a bug out, which is cool. Obviously, this is. Uh, and that's the knife we're talking about, Kev. So please put away the Evo. <sighs> Sorry, I could ramble about that thing all day. So yeah, that's the Satori. Um, just a cool ass design. Um, it's an integral, it's titanium, it's M390, it's all those things, compound grind. I mean, super, super cool knife. You can flick it, you can flip it, uh, you can thumb flick it, you can stud flip it. I mean, you can do a lot of things with this and it's cool. Um, I just, I just have learned from the 2.0 that it's just not my jam as a knife that I want to carry. As a knife that I want in my collection, sitting in my knife case, hell yeah. Um, and if that's mainly what you're going to do with it, then uh, go for it, you know. Um, this 1.0 actually is very comfortable in my hand. Um, but again, I'm just not, I'm not going to use this knife, so I don't know. And I wish it had a detent ball ramp. You know, this detent ball has really got a lot of, you know, it gets in there pretty good and... It's hard to pop it, so you're not going to just kind of shake it down like you do some knives. You're going to have to pop that and then let it drop, but the action's phenomenal once you do that. So that's a quick disassembly and ramble on the CKF Satori. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.